All right, we are here on this citation. It was issued on May 14th of this year on Allegan there in the city of Otsego, Allegan County, state of Michigan. It's a speeding citation on an actual 50 and a 30. However, uh, it was only issued as a one to five over. Ms. Rafik, you are here on this citation to do one of three things. First is you could admit responsibility to the citation or two, admit responsibility, but you wish to provide some sort of explanation to the court as to how or why this happened. Or three, you wish to contest this citation. In other words, fight the ticket at what we call informal hearing. What were you looking to do? Um, the third option. All right. Then the first thing I'm going to do is swear all parties in. You want to go ahead and raise your right hand. You swear affirm any testimony you give here today would be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, I swear. I do. All right. Ms. Uh, Rofik, it makes a lot more sense for me to start with the officer. He has the burden to establish to me why he issued you a citation in the first place. But after that, you'll have an opportunity to uh, either ask questions or testify on your own behalf. All right. Okay. And with that, uh, Officer McGee, you want to go pick up the narrative somewhere where it makes sense to explain the issuing of this citation. Yes, sir. On May the 14th, 2023, at approximately 7, 10 a.m., I was speed, or was parked uh, running stationary radar facing eastbound on Allegan Street or M89 near Kalamazoo Street in the downtown business district of the city of Allegan. While I was at that location, I noted a vehicle was traveling westbound at what appeared to be a high rate of speed greater than that of the posted 30 mile per hour zone in that area. My visual perception of the vehicle was that it was traveling 45 to 50 miles per hour. As the vehicle passed my location, I began to monitor the speed of the vehicle as it continued westbound, uh, noting that the vehicle was traveling at a steady 50 miles per hour in the posted 30 mile per hour zone. I then turned around and attempted to catch up to the vehicle. Uh, as I was doing so, I was facing the vehicle at between 55 and 60 miles an hour, uh, continuing westbound on Allegan Street in the 35 mile per hour zone. I caught up with the vehicle at the west end of town and made a traffic stop on Lincoln Street near Jefferson. Uh, in making contact with the driver, uh, she indicated that she was reading a map from GPS and she was on her way to Grand Haven. She didn't see the speed limit changes as they appeared and was focused on the map that was on her phone. She also pointed out on the GPS, that the phone said that the area we we're currently in was a 55 mile per hour zone. I did cite Ms. Yemen, excuse me, Ms. Rofik for the uh, speed of 35 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. There was good audio at the time of the clock with no interference from other vehicles. No other cars were in the, in the uh, beam of the radar at the time of the clock. The radar was verified both before and after the stop and was functioning properly. All right, Ms. Rofik, what is it you wish to tell me? Well, um, basically, I, I just wanted to, you know, say when I got stopped, it said 50. So that's that's why I asked him, like, you know, I never had been in this area before and I was looking at my map on my way back though, because I did ask him for directions, but I, I decided I'll just go to the freeway because I know it's a steady one, all you know, one uh, speed all the way. And I can just put my, my car on that on 70 and then it, I won't have to worry about is going over or not but on my way back to the freeway I noticed that um there was like these changes for like maybe a two street area or three street you know very short areas that it would change like from yes ma'am it's because it's the city of Otsego you're actually entering a populated area as opposed to driving on an interstate yeah there was nobody i know when i went there not i'm not saying that, that is an excuse i just noticed that so that could have been why it didn't show up on my on my and since that day i have noticed that when i drive in other places it doesn't always state the the the, the speed on my phone on my map 
Some areas don't do and some areas don't. So that's basically all I wanted to say. I, I was not aware of my area when he stopped me. It said 50, so that's why I asked him because I was kind of confused. You know, and I just wanted to make sure that there was um, no mistake in that, so. Yeah, well, we can clear that. Uh, Officer McGee, that's a posted 30. Yes, sir, it changes from 35 to 30 uh, east of the business district and continues through to west of North Street as a 30 mile per hour zone, then accelerates back up to 35 remaining 35 for the majority of the re remainder of the city of Otsego traveling westbound. All right. Um, so, ma'am, based upon the evidence that I heard today, I would find you responsible on this citation. The officer didn't write you a ticket, though, for going 50 and a 30. He, he only wrote you a one to five over. It's, it's the lowest speeding ticket he could write. Uh, so uh, you would have a decision to make because you had a contested hearing. You would either say, I don't agree with what just happened in there, and you would ask to appeal my finding, but you must do that within writing within seven days of today's date, or you would accept this finding of responsibility and then just call the uh, court to make arrangements to pay that fines and costs. Do you understand your rights on appeal? Yes, I'll just All go right. ahead and um, uh, call and pay for it. All right. Well, then we are all set for what we needed to do here today. I'm going to go ahead and release parties. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor.